the Red Hot St. Bonaventure Bonnies come to Washington, D.C. to take on the George Washington Colonials. St. Bonaventure winners of their last five in a row, the second longest winning streak in the A-10, and still have some work to do. Currently in a tie for fourth, and remember, the top four seeds in the A-10 get a double bye in the conference tournament. Happy Saturday to everybody. I'm Jeff Arnold, joined alongside by Dante Verme. If you look at the last couple of years, St. Bonaventure has been an offensive-oriented team, but this year they have done all their work with defense. Another tough opponent for the Colonials. They face a UMass team that is one of the top offenses in the conference, and then they are also one of the most disruptive defenses. As we get right into our players to watch, the Tribe lead the CAA in scoring right now, and a big reason for that is the play of Eva Hodgson. So for George Washington, if they want to get closer to Duquesne take the lead. What do they need to change defensively? Crutcher lets the shot clock get inside of 10. Healthy three. Davis, this man just can't miss. Hipkins, the leading scorer for the Minutemen, coming back after missing time with a hamstring injury, but hasn't really made an impact on this game, and he turns it over. Maceo Jack for the two-handed slam. 57 apiece, inside 30 seconds. Colonials have three timeouts. Neither team a foul to give. Hyduk gets into the lane and scores. 19.8 seconds left. Torrey Hyduk puts the Colonials back up two. When he's on, he's getting deep in the post, and he's a grizzly bear. DJ Williams. Littles accepts the pass and one. Missoula into the corner. Macy Ojek, that's a big three ball. GW goes back on top. 13 points, leads everybody. Post touch for Mon going in against Gatling. Stevenson, how about that? What a job by Ariel Stevenson. Over the shoulder, off glass. She maybe couldn't do that again. Colonials, one of their last 11 from the field, but still a one point game. Nine to shoot for Caputo. Oshuni. Stockard. It's loose, and the Colonials have it. Three on two break. Jack, for two. What has it Maceo Jack done for GW today? He's willed them to stay in this ball game. And GW, when they're on the break, in transition, they have been almost unstoppable here today. His previous career high, 23. He's up to 28. Stockard. Oshuni catches in deep and is fouled. Looked like that was missed time trying to go for an alley-oop there, but a good job of body control from the freshman Oshuni and drawing the contact. Well, that's bad news for GW because the foul was on Macy Jack. And so he has four fouls right now. And he has been the engine in this offense here today. I don't think the Colonials can have him off the floor that long, especially here in the final five. Now what helps you out is that right now you are even at 53. So we'll have to see how Maurice Joseph decides to manage his minutes down the stretch. Should he put St. Bonaventure up by one with 5.39 left to go? Jeff Arnold, Dante Verme, in a game that George Washington controlled for most of the first half, St. Bonaventure was dealt a tough blow at the start of the second when Kyle Lofton picked up two quick fouls to give him four. But from there, St. Bonaventure has fought back, and George Washington has gone cold for the field. And an interesting look here for the Colonials. You've got Potter and Terry Nolan Jr. on the floor, both the energy bugs for this GW team. Williams got stripped. Stockard into the lane. Oshuni he can't tip it home. Missoula. The quick give up. Stripped away by Welch. And it'll stay St. Bonaventure basketball. So high speed action on both ends. 
Doesn't yield any points. And it's still a one-point game. Welch to put it in play. You can just you can feel the intensity both teams are playing with here. But Bonnie's doing a great job of feeding off the traveling crowd, which has been very impressive and making their presence known here in DC. They've had a great traveling contingent today that have given them some energy in the second half. Caputo, eight to shoot. Stockard in from the wing. Got blocked. Oshuni got it. And then it's over the front of the rim and in. As a great heads up play from Oshuni, knowing that that ball did not touch rim. He had three seconds left on the shot clock and a great job getting that shot up and in. Beautifully executed, mind you. That's a freshman with that play. Oshuni, almost all of his points have been in the second half. Nolan. It's a wedgie, and it's St. Bonaventure basketball. And again, GW, these stretches they've run into have been periodical, but they're still in this basketball game. And now Kyle Lofton back in the game, replacing Caputo. Four fouls for him with four minutes left. Oshuni, who scored 12 of his 14 since the break. Stockard backing it up. Lofton with five on the shot clock. Nolan. Tipped home by Oshuni. He's got great wingspan, and he has played big in this second half. St. Bonaventure by five. And that's maybe the third or fourth time we see them just right there inside the paint. Gets a turnaround chance and easily banks it in. Huge second half from him. DJ Williams with a field goal to make it a three-point contest. Stocker, loft in a three. Missoula got it to Williams, and Al GW a chance to tie it up with a three-point make. Timeout called by Missoula and the Colonials with 2.49 left. GW at one point in this half led by 10. They're down three.